friends and family, this is SP News Nuggets, and today, you guys, we've got a story coming out of Birmingham, you guys, Alabama, or it will be maybe Tussleville, Alabama, I don't know, but it is a 29-year-old female, she's Caucasian, she's been missing since December the 20th, you guys, she was at the Tin Roof listening to some music, and, and now nobody knows where she is. Let me share with you guys this clip. Here we go. On the floor, a mother and father in Trussville are praying for a Christmas miracle because it's been three days since anyone has heard from Peyton Houston and her parents say that's not like their daughter. Morgan Hightower spoke with Houston's parents who remain hopeful that she'll be found safe. Morgan? Yeah, they are very hopeful, but they're also heartbroken that they have not heard from Peyton or they don't know where she is or how to reach her at this point. Douglas and Charlene Houston say someone knows something and now is the time to come forward with that information. It has been days since they have heard from their daughter who was last seen Friday night at Tin Roof on 7th Avenue South. Her parents say she was there with a few co-workers having fun and listening to a band. She was supposed to come home that night but never did and when her parents didn't hear from her they immediately reported her missing they say it's unlike Peyton not to reach out to anyone saying she's very close with her family and would never intentionally be out of touch as Birmingham police continue to look for her and investigate what happened her family is prayerful and determined to bring her home we're not stopping we're gonna continue to your home Someone, please, I'm a mother. We've seen so much on the news. This is our daughter. There's thousands of daughters out there that go missing. And, it, and it's just, we've got to find these people. This is something wrong. Too many, too many are happening. We've got to be able to live this life without living in danger all the time. But I've got to get my daughter back. We need a Christmas miracle. I'm pleading with the public. Voice and understandably so, she wants someone who has the information about where her daughter is to come forward. Now we're continuing to follow this story, and coming up at five o'clock, I want you to hear Miss Houston's message for her daughter. And I'm going to tell you what Birmingham police are doing today to bring her home. Very close with her family. She, she calls. Would, she would never do this. Yes. Yeah, she calls us if she doesn't get her on the phone, then she turns around and calls me. She has a best friend that I don't care. You know, young people, they may go and have fun, but there's not any time that she would not text her. And this, this many days, not even one day, would she not text that friend. And it's just... It's devastating for us to go through this time and not know what's happening to her. Something had to have happened. I don't know what. Somebody, someone has to know something. There's, there's people out there that know what's going on. And either they're too scared to say or, you know, just protecting somebody they know. And Peyton, if you're where you can hear me, please... Get to somewhere that you can get back home. We need our Christmas miracle. We love you so much. <laughs> We're not stopping. We're going to continue till you're home. Someone, please. I'm a mother. We've seen so much on the news. This is our daughter. There's thousands of daughters out there that go missing. And, it, and it's just, we've got to find these people. This is something wrong. Too many, too many are happening. We've got to be able to live this life without living in danger all the time. But I've got to get my daughter back. We need a Christmas miracle. I'm pleading with the public. I'm pleading for anyone that has any information to call the Birmingham Police Department, Crime Stoppers, anyone. We want to thank everyone for all their prayers because God is our strength. God knows where my daughter is. And I know 
angels are going to have to protect her to get her home. Please, I'm, I'm pleading. Many of you are wondering why surveillance video hasn't been released. Our Brittany Dio now speaking with Houston's father and police about why. Catherine, Steve, we asked Birmingham police for the a copy of the surveillance video or photos of the two men they say Houston left the tin bar with. Our request has been denied. I asked police why we were not able to get a copy. A representative says investigators are currently reviewing it. Our questions about the two men Houston was seen with, what they look like, what they were wearing, or even the car they were driving, that information also not available tonight. Houston's family and and friends using social media to spread the word of her disappearance, her mother asking the community for prayers. I spoke to her father this afternoon about the status of the investigation. Here's what he told me. The uh, detective on the case said he lead to this that didn't turn out to be anything. Now, Houston is 5'2", 123 pounds. She was last seen wearing ripped jeans, a coral-colored T-shirt, and blue Converse tennis shoes. If you happen to know where she is or who she may be with, you're asked to give police a call or Crime Stoppers. Okay, friends and family, I'm going to give a little bit of information that has not been in the news so that you guys, if you see this young lady, she's in the Alabama area. She is a native to, they call it um, Trussville, or Trussville, and um, she has this tattoo on her left arm. And it's arrow and it says faith and it has an arrow pointing down she has curly hair as you guys can see she has curly hair but she likes to wear her hair straight so that's one of the factors she also has another tattoo that says strength on her arm uh, her upper arm now the police are not saying that she was at that tin roof bar listening to music and she left with two black men so that's what the surveillance that they're looking they want to let them release to the public because she left with two black men from this bar at the tin roof and then she texted her friend and in the text it said that she did not know who she was with but she thinks she was in trouble. And if she calls, please answer her phone. Her bank statement shows there's no activity, so nobody's taking her to go to the ATM and get money, but she has been missing since December the 20th, and the family is asking for people for their prayers, and if you know anything, contact the Birmingham Police Department and there must be some foul play going on so we're going to be following this story you guys and I just wanted to share some of those factors that they have not said so they want you to call the police department at 205-297-8413 or call 911 okay you guys be good be safe and be nice to each other. We will be on this Friday at 5 p.m. Central Time. Bye.